good evening today we're going to see the next topic trigonometry's third example i have already put the video of the first one okay the third one letter the first sum have put it on it now i'm going to put the second sum okay one plus cos a divided by 1 minus cos a which is equal to cosecant a plus cot a the whole square this is what the question is okay now we're going to solve it first we're going to take rhs over here because we are first going with the complicated side okay first we are taking this cosecant a plus cot a the whole square first i'm taking this so now i'm going to split it using the formula okay like cosecant formula and cot formula okay i'm writing the formulas on the side cosecant theta which is equal to 1 by sine theta by the same cot theta which is equal to cos theta divided by sin theta so using this i'm gonna apply this formulas over here okay instead of cosecant theta i'm gonna write 1 by sin that is instead of theta that is a so 1 by sin a plus instead of cot a which means cos theta i'm going to write cos theta divided by sin theta here cos a divided by sin a the whole square okay now instead of cosecant and cot i used formulas to substitute over it okay now solving inside the bracket first denominators are same so we can write this as 1 plus cos a by sin a the whole square and now I am taking the squares inside ok taking the square over inside then it will be 1 plus cos a the whole square divided by sin square a ok this step is just I am taking the square over inside for the numerator and denominator separately ok then it will be 1 plus cos a the whole square divided by sin square a ok this was the third step and now I am going to use a formula instead of sin square a. We know that sin square theta plus cos square theta which is equal to 1. Then for sin square theta alone, sin square theta alone we are taking here and moving cos square theta from LHS to RHS it will be become negative or which means subtraction time so cos square theta 1 minus cos square theta so instead of sin square a i am going to write 1 minus cos square a 1 plus cos a will remain as it is sin square a alone i am going to take 1 minus cos square a ok this was the fourth step now i am going to split this square like if there is x plus 2 the whole square we can write this as x plus 2 into x plus 2 right if there is 2 square we can write this as 2 into 2 right the same methodology i am going to use here so now i am going to split it 1 plus cos a into 1 plus cos a okay i have split it the numerator now seeing the denominator you can see this is based on a, a minus b the whole square a square minus b square the formula like you can see that there is no square on 1 but you can imagine you can substitute it like somehow it will be square if whether there is a square then also will remain with the 1 right if it is 1 or 1 square what will be the answer 1 also it is equal to 1 only 1 square which means 1 into 1 is also equal to 1 1 right 
we can also write 1 as 1 square 1 cube 1 power 4 whatever the answer will be 1 right so here we are just substituting based on the question here there is cos square so we can imagine there is whether here it is 1 square then it will be similar to a square minus b square formula so a square minus b square which is a plus b into a minus b right so instead of that we are going to write 1, minus, 1 square minus cos square a as 1 plus cos a 1 minus cos a ok a is 1 and b is cos a so a plus b which is 1 plus cos a a minus b which is 1 minus cos a ok and now we can just cancel the similar ones 1 plus cos a 1 plus cos a hit cancel and there will be remaining 1 plus cos a divided by 1 minus cos a now you can understand why we are splitting 1 plus cos a as two different values we can also substitute here a plus b the whole square formula but we are not doing it because of the denominator ok in trigonometry you need to approach all the side ok seeing the denominator numerator if you need to substitute something you need to just imagine whether it will be giving the correct output which you needed which is given in the question ok you need to check it ok that is what most important thing in the trigonometry so denominator you can see that if you see any denominator which is look like 1 minus sin square a 1 minus 2 square like somehow you can automatically imagine that there will be automatically you need to substitute a, a square minus b square formula only which means there is 1 square 1 cube 1 power 4 anything we want to put based on the second value so automatically you need to substitute the a square minus b square formula only we are going to put at the denominator okay so you can just see in the denominator, denominator itself you can imagine we are going to write the next step as in the denominator of 1 plus cos a 1 minus cos a so according to that we need to write the numerator also so that's why we are not using a plus b the whole square formula instead we splitting it ok like 1 plus cos a into 1 plus cos a ok and then we are just cancelling the similar values and getting the RHS sorry LHS because in this question we have took the RHS first so we have to prove the LHS and we have proved it and hence proved 